Okay, so we've got a question here that uh, involves a picture. It's got some X's, and from that we can see that uh, when it says work out the size, it's asking us to uh, create an equation and solve that equation to find the value of X. So, <coughs> literally, when you see a question involving X's and uh, angles and so forth, um, or words with X's and stuff, or any letter really, then it's about creating an equation and solving that. So we look at what's the important information. Well, angles are in degrees. We know it's a triangle, and we know in a triangle all angles are to 180 degrees. So literally we take all the angles we know. We know that's 7x. We know this is 90 degrees because uh, of the uh, square and the, the vertex point, uh, which is telling us uh, it's a right angle. So we're adding 90 degrees and then we're adding the 5x plus the 18 and an equation has an equals and it equals a fact and the fact is 180 degrees. So we simplify this down, uh, so we've got 7x's plus 5x's which makes 12x's and we've got 90 degrees plus 18 degrees which makes 108 degrees and that's going to equal 180 degrees and like all solving equations the idea is to make x the subject so in other words to isolate the x on its own, it's already positive um, in the term that it's involved with so we can leave it where it is and uh, move the 108 and move the 12 across the equals to the other side of the equation. So to move things we do the opposite operations. So we're going to move the add 108 first because that's separate to the term involved in the letter we want to find. And 108 take away 108 is 0, so that's worked. But then we have to balance it because of the equals and do the same to the other side. So we're left with 12x is worth 72 degrees. Um, we want a single x, um, so we need to divide by 12 to get 1x. So, but we need to divide both sides by 12 because uh, of the equals to balance. So x is worth 6 degrees. Um, it says work out the size of the smallest angle. Well, we would have to uh, check by putting the x value back in. So this one here is telling us to do 5 times 6 plus 18. Uh, we do the 5 times 6 first, which is 30, uh, 48 degrees. And then we do 7 times 6 here, uh, which is going to be 42 degrees. Um, because the question says work out the size of the smallest angle, then we can see that the smallest angle in this triangle would be 42 degrees. So our answer on our answer line, 42 degrees. OK, question 2. Um, it tells us about a box exerting a force on a table. So literally we've got a table with a box on it, and it's exerting a force and it's 140 newtons and it's saying that the pressure on the table is 35 newtons and they've given us the formula for pressure equals so any formula we should write it down decide what values we know well we know the force is worth 140 newtons uh, we know the pressure is worth 35 newtons per square meter that's the given information in the question and the question says calculate the area so the area is the unknown so we've got lots of ways of thinking about this. Um, the area is in the wrong place. It needs to be the subject. So we can take that area across. It says dividing by timesing it. So we have pressure times area will equal the force. And then we want the area as the subject. So that we're going to now move the P to the other side to leave A on its own for the area. So we have the area equals the force divided by the pressure. So in this question, the area is going to equal the 140 divided by the 35. And then when we go through our um, 35 times table, 35, 70, 105, 140, so four times. So it's going to be four. Notice there's no units on this uh, answer line, so therefore the examiners are expecting you to provide the units. Uh, and that's really important you watch that kind of question in your exams. And we can see that we did 140 newtons divided by newtons per square metre. Well, the newtons cancel each other out, so newton divided by newton is 1. And then we've got 1 over over meter squared, which means the meter squared comes to the top. And it's an area answer anyway, so we'd expect the area unit uh, to be squared. <coughs> and it's about meter squared, the way the question's been worded. So it's 4 square meters. If you don't like rearranging um, as such, with these three letter formulas, um, just remember that uh, you can use the triangle where the subject goes at the bottom left and then the two division uh, variables go on top and bottom just like they are in the formula and because the question wanted the area 
we can cover up the area and it's telling us to do the force divide by the pressure because it's so the force over pressure, force divided by pressure. So that's another way of doing that kind of question. Uh, question three, um, it talks about um, there are only red counters, blue counters, you know, so that's fixed all of those. Uh, table shows probabilities. Well, we know if we know all the outcomes, then the probability of all outcomes must be one. Okay, so the total of all the probabilities must add up to one when we know all the actual outcomes. So we know in this particular question, then they're saying to us because the probability of picking blue is the same as the probability of picking green. So we've got the same there. Then we could call that x and we could call that x. Uh, we don't know it yet, but we just know that they are the same value. So we have a little equation here then. So we have two x's added to 0.24, added to 0.32, and that must equal 1. So simplify it down a bit. Uh, 0.24 plus 0.32, so 0.56. So 2x's must be equal to 1, take away 0.56, so 2x's must be equal to 0.44, and then we half down to get the x value, so the x value will be 0.22. So basically, when it says complete the table, we can put 0.22 and 0.22. Um, Lots of other ways you could have uh, thought about this question. You could turn them all in percentages if you prefer that, um, and then take them away from 100%. Um, so we could have said that's 24% and 32%, uh, give you a total of 56%, take it away from 100%, leaves you 44%. As blue and green are the same, then each of them must be 22%, which is a decimal, 0.22, 0.22. Either way, um, we'll end up with the correct answer. Uh, question four, uh, it talks about a pattern being made uh, using these rectangular tiles. We're going to find the total area of the pattern. Well. We know this is about rectangles, so basically the area of a rectangle is equal to the length times the uh, perpendicular height. So ideally then we need to know the length of the rectangle and the width of the rectangle. Well at the moment um, we know what two lengths and a width is, and we know what a length and a width is. So if we call that L and W, then we know that L plus W equals 7. Uh, that's an length, that's a length, and that's a width. And then we know that two lengths plus a width equals 11 centimetres. So these are the facts that we know. And we can see by doing a simple subtraction that if we do two lengths take away a length, we end up with a length. W take away a W means that we've uh, taken away the width. 11 take away 7 is 4. So it's telling us then that the length of the rectangle is 4, and the width of the rectangle, well, the length plus the width is 7, so the width must be 3 centimetres. So we now know that one rectangle has a length of 4 centimetres, and a height of 3 centimetres. Uh, because it told us that they're all identical, uh, and that's our clue, so we work out the area of this by doing 4 times 3, which is 12 square centimetres. And because there's 4 of them, then we times that by 4 to get the answer of 48. OK, so that's the first four questions um, gone through. Hopefully a few skies.